In Test Drive Unlimited 2, the key aspect is the social aspect. It's really playing online with different players. We start from, uh, from what we have seen on TDU1. But what we wanted to do for this TDU2 is to extend the social part. That is to say that every place that we will go uh, in, uh, in TDU2 is a place where you can meet people. In my own experience as a gamer, uh, I play MMOs and this is a huge difference between an um, offline game and an online game. And the online game opens windows on a, something very huge, with no limits. So the different social aspects came from different um, inspirations. It either came from typical MMO games uh, that the team play or from the different social media that we have like Facebook and, and things like that. Every player that is playing at the same moment you will meet because you are playing with thousands and thousands of players at the same time. All the different areas of the game are actually social hubs. Your house, for example, you can customize it to your taste, invite your friends over, show them your beautiful collection of cars in your garage, and basically hang out with your friends. MMO is also about um, showing off. Social aspects meant competition or even cooperation to be able to achieve challenges. Other aspects of social elements was like um, you'll be able to group together to create a club. The clubs, like you know, that what what is called a guild in a, in, a, in other MMOs, is a, a way to be with your friend. This is a, a real place, and that's where you can go, compete between other pro racers, and basically make your club progress. When you are driving a club car, everyone around knows that you are a very good player. But you can also do other um, areas. There are other areas in the game where are social hubs. Lobby in other games are, you know, menus with names and you are waiting for players to come. That's very boring and we think it, it was very natural just to be, you know, like in a fan exhibition with people that are coming with their cars. So that's how we all build our lobbies. So you, you come for waiting the beginning of the, the, of the race, but you are with other players walking around, looking at the car, you can enter in their cars, and uh, everything is very natural. Actually, the fact that it's not just a pure racing competition, that brings up a completely different perspective. You're in an open world, you're living in a virtual, persistent world, and that brings different behaviors in the game. The social aspect actually is part of the gameplay that they're playing. This social aspect is uh, in the heart of the game. Our mission was to make it better and bigger. Mm -hmm.